two, one, start. Stop. Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, stories from the 78 at Benison's Bakery right here in Evanston on Chicago's north side. So a little outside the 78, but I have been to a lot of bakeries in Chicago. I don't think I've been to a bakery that's been open since like the late 1930s, I think 37, 38, by Mr. Benison, who still is a consultant. Believe it or not, he's 100 years old and uh, his family started it and now it's sold to another family. And that's when I'm going to talk to Blaine about this big contest they got going on here, the... Uh, Poonchki eating contest. So apropos, happening Saturday at two o'clock, and I get a little tour of the space, the whole thing now for this story from the 78. Let's go inside and say hi to Blaine. All right, so I've made my way inside Benison's Bakery, and I'm here with Blaine. How you doing, Blaine? I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. So explain Benison's really quick for folks who've never heard of it. You know, maybe they're Southsiders and they don't know what's going up here on the north side. What's going on with Benison's? Benison's Bakery has been here since 1938. Mm -hmm. My grandfather-in-law bought it from Larry Benison in 1967. And right now we are standing in the cake corner. The cake corner. So yeah, how, and you guys are busy all the time. You were saying that earlier as far as, you know, when I asked you, what are they making all that? You guys make everything and, and it's, it shows you got all the stuff everywhere, but this is a real working functioning bakery. Yep. And Those are pies that I think are probably going to EJ's. Oh, so you guys make pies for all sorts of different clients yeah. and things like that? We right? do a lot of wholesale also. So we have bakeries who buy bread from us mm -hmm. and bakers that are buying poonchkis from us this week. Yeah, big poonchki thing. Why don't we pop in the bakery and we'll take a look at what's going on in there. Just because I think, look at this, they got frosting there. And we're heading back to the bakery. You have this big poonchki eating contests, right? Yes. Talk, talk about that. And first, before we get there, though, where are we in right now as far as your bakery? This is the middle of the bakery. Okay. Um, this is part of the original bakery. It slowly expanded over time. Mm -hmm. Before it was a bakery, it was actually a jewel. And so this is kind you of... say it was a jewel? That's what my grandfather-in-law like told Jewel me. Osco jewel? Yeah. The jewel. That's jewel? what I, he told huh. me. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. So that's what this used to be. And now you guys make everything from croissants, punchki, to what? Cookies, pies, torts, cupcakes. If people ask, most likely my father-in-law will say yes and figure out how to get it done. Really? Yeah. So talk about the um, the contest you guys have coming up. So the contest started in 2010, and that was to help raise money for relief efforts for the uh, earthquake in Haiti. Yep. So we started it in... It just picked up. We donated to American Red Cross that year, and every year since, except for a year off for COVID, we've had a contest. Really? And how many people usually come out to this contest? Last year, there were probably about 60 people, at 60 least watching. People. We uh, set up tables early, we play music, we blast them from speakers, uh -huh. and we try to make it a big thing to get the community out. And this, and these are some of the ovens that you guys have? So this is how this is how the, the bread's yeah. baked. Those sauce. are Andersonville coffee cakes. No kidding. And then we got some more back here. And you guys have been a staple in the Evanston community since 1937? 1938. Thir 38. Okay. Yeah. And it's really busy right now because we are days before that Tuesday, yeah. the Super Bowl, and your big contest, right? And Valentine's Day. So yeah. it's it's going to be a fun couple days, yeah. Yeah. And what are your hours for folks that might not uh, know your hours? And if they want to come by, give them like the time and stuff they should show up. Or how do they enter for the contest that you guys have? So if you want to enter the contest right now, you should give us a call so we can get you in. We have two spots left and we're open during the week every day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then on the weekends, we close at five on Saturdays and four on Sundays. And then we, uh, if, it, if the hours vary, you can go on the website yeah. and check it out. And What's you can also order online if you want to pick anything up. And we are actually just redid our shipping website. Oh, okay. So we can ship all over the country. We've been really? shipping out King Cakes. I shipped one out to Alabama yesterday. Someone from New Orleans called and said it was better than the King Cakes they've had there. And, and I the said, King Cakes, let's go to the front if you wouldn't mind. I think because that's the the, what people see when they come yeah, by. These oh, are all the poonchkis. How many poonchkis do you guys sell first? In probably the two weeks around Fat Tuesday, probably over 30,000. <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep count. So you sell a few, is what you're saying. Look at you got stuff coming everywhere. Everywhere. That's, There's no I good know. place to stand. No, you're, I'm in your way. So this is, but this is what it is. This is the kind of segment we're doing. So we're going to go okay, to the front now. Back up. Blaine, why don't you join me? Okay? <laughs> so this is the front. This is the storefront. 
Else and you have uh, king cakes in the back there. We got king cakes over there. We got king cakes over here. We got all the king cakes on order for pickup today. Can you pop one of those boxes open so we can see what uh, one of these king cakes look like? Of course I can. These are one of my favorite things and one of my family's favorite things. Why is that? They're just good. They're just good. Yeah, you pop it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and it gets all warm and gooey. My niece and nephews ask for them on every holiday, like even Thanksgiving, like just always want you know one. And then you got the punchkis back there. You got the punchki boxes Yo. for Fat Tuesday. We got refrigerated punchkis in here. We got normal punchkis over there. We tried to decorate. And you have, oh, we got to pick them up here. You got hot coffee. You got tea. We got it all. You got it all. What are your, and uh, you guys are open every day except for? Every day. Every day. Not, every day. You don't do the whole thing where you close on a Sunday or something. No. What if someone needs a bake bakery item? We're here. Absolutely. We got a lot of fire drills that people forgot to place an order. And then uh, we got to help them out in an emergency. And I, I saw a Tay Tay cookie. Oh, oh yeah. Back there. We yeah, have we'll over 200 out. on order for the next couple days. Could people still come by and pick those up if they didn't order them ahead of time? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, because I might have to buy one for my daughter. Yeah, uh, we've got a lot of dads in here saying, my daughter's a really big Taylor Swift yeah, fan. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. And I think we've got some good Mardi Gras cakes. Look at that, you guys got a whole bunch of everything. Oh yeah, this is just the beginning. We're just prepping up. What do people get for the contest if they win the contest? The, the winners, game? the team of two get $200. There's one of our Mardi Gras cakes. Oh, sure. We had the mini cakes. Um, Everyone who signs up gets a t-shirt for free. The shared t-shirt says, love is in the air, punchkis are in the fryer. <laughs> I, we come up with a saying every year. I like it. Um, And then they get a gift card to Benison's. And then we donate some of the money to a charity. So this year it's Border Tail Rescue, it's a dog rescue mm -hmm. in Northbrook. And that's fantastic. And that contest is happening tomorrow, Saturday. It's, yes, at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. And website again, one more time? Venisonscakes.com. And I should tell them to come by and say hi to you. They should. They I'll should. be here. All right. Oh, you can go ahead. We're just doing a thing here. Tom Barney, Chicago at gmail.com if you have a suggestion for a story from the 78. Or go to the website, oh, no, storiesfromthe78.com. They got all this stuff coming out here right now. All the fun things.